Hi, I'm Bobblehead Fred, and you might remember me from such ETC videos as Why Did My Console Do That? and What Fixture Should I Use? Today I'd like to take you on a tour of one of my favorite things, the Source 4 Ellipsoidal. Ah, look at it. Isn't she beautiful, folks? With over two million of these Lil Beauty sold, chances are really good that you've seen a Source 4 fixture hanging around somewhere. Maybe you've worked with one, or maybe you've just seen one in action. Either way, it's good to know what makes the Source 4 fixture tick. Okay, look, that's just a figure of speech. Fine, let's look at what makes up a Source 4 fixture. We'll start our tour by first setting up the fixture. My lovely assistant Tom has helped with this since I'm rather small. Seriously, you don't even have a body. You can't go making short jokes. Moving on, the first thing we see is the yoke. The yoke is adjustable by loosening the yoke locking knob here. The yoke is attached to the reflector housing. To the rear of the reflector housing is the lamp housing assembly. To replace a lamp, you just loosen this brass knob here and then pull the assembly out of the back of the fixture. At the front of the reflector housing, we have the barrel rotation knob. The barrel rotation knob is used with the shutter barrel, which is located here. The shutters are located here on the shutter barrel. Right in front of the shutters is the pattern holder slot and drop-in iris slot. There are various accessories that work in these slots. Uh, Tom, that's not on the approved list of accessories. <coughs> Traveling up the fixture, we next see the barrel assembly. The lens tube fits into this assembly. Source 4 lens tubes come in several different varieties, each tube fulfilling a certain lighting need. At the very front of the lens tube, we have the color frame holder and gel clip. And that, folks, is what makes the Source 4 fixture tick. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join Tom and me next time as we discuss how to care for your Source 4 fixture.